You can feel however you want about Nintendo as a company, but one thing about their business that's you know pretty dope is how they're able to pull up the distinguishable ecosystem of gaming. Like a good majority of their titles are you know constant exclusive and are actually good after the first few updates compared to the majority of other consoles and you know high-end pcs their console price is way more affordable and their whole company vibe is just family friendly so you know they're breaking in a shit ton of money so you know props to nintendo for you know building the empire that many people know and love today but you know even though on the surface you know these people might seem like the happy company behind an italian plumber or a mute short person at the end of the day they're still a big company that deals with a lot of issues you know especially nowadays in the age of the internet where people find ways to exploit the company's ips in whatever way that they see fit specifically i'm talking about the leaks of upcoming games and hardware now these kinds of links aren't just exclusive to you know just happening to nintendo you know like i just said people on the internet can exploit damn near any company that they want if they know how to i mean they did it to gta 6 which is kind of justified because it's been like 10 years rockstar but the only difference between most gaming companies and nintendo when it comes to dealing with something like this is that well nintendo has a serious dark side like you all remember that nintendo hacker from earlier in the year who now has to pay nintendo for the rest of his life because of his crime like they don't play about this shit. and it seems like nintendo is ready to put a stop to you know this kind of thing happening altogether because a few days ago, they revised their guidelines on what kind of content can be shared online regarding Nintendo and the action they'll take against anyone who violates these new rules. The new rules are summarized in these five bullet points on their official website, but you know, I'll save you all your attention span by briefly summarizing because you know, who actually likes reading? In short, they basically said you can't upload existing Nintendo footage without creative input. You can only make content on Nintendo games that are officially released. You gotta get third party content approval on your own. You can't false claim a Nintendo sponsorship and they can take down anything they feel is a threat to their business. Now, on the surface, you know, these new rules might seem fair and, you know, pretty common sense, but where we're starting to scare a lot of content creators are the ones that make content on things like emulation and that whole realm of gaming. You see, allegedly, most emulators use games that are illegally obtained, allegedly, and therefore are now seen as a threat to Nintendo to which they can get their content taken down if they want to, allegedly. I got y'all. So you could imagine with how popular emulation has gotten in the modern times that this is going to affect people who revolve their whole content around this kind of gaming. But those are just the new rules based on online content. Nintendo also shared a new set of rules that players are hating which affects the third party tournaments. Nintendo is now putting a cap on the amount of people able to join the tournament along with putting a cap on how much money can be made from winning said tournament. They even went as far as to limit the accessories used in the tournaments to be officially licensed products, you know, just some really greedy stuff. And we know from past experience that the company isn't scared to take legal action against anyone going against the rules, so it's not like people can just, you know, ignore these guidelines either. It's safe to say that Nintendo is cracking down hard on what they're allowing in the public, like I said at the start of the video. For the most part, they've got their own ecosystem of gaming and they know it, so it's obvious they want to keep that status in any way possible. The only question is how extreme this policy is going to get in the future. I mean, they took one of my videos down last year because I used a few seconds of footage from a video on their official YouTube page like a bunch of bitches. So the future of Nintendo online content seems like it's going to get more strict as time goes on. Hopefully people can still find a way to make their content and that Nintendo doesn't get too strict with these rules in the future. So what do you guys think about Nintendo with these new rules, man? Feel free to comment down below. And as always, if you like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.